live her best life. Even at 85, it's possible. And Ultimate Pace is helping with that. She's been going to Ultimate Pace for 25 years. She loves Loteria and she loves to dance. Pretty much everything. They come and pick her up in the morning for doctor's appointments, for medication, physical therapy, giving a peace of mind to their loved ones when they're working. After 25 years, Ultimate Pace has been keeping her young. She's shining. <laughs> Make this a summer to share and save in the fun Tech Forward Forte, recommended by Consumer Reports. During the Kia Summer Sticker Sales event, lease a specially tagged 2024 Forte LXS for $169 a month. Right now at 6, the streets of West Hollywood are bursting with pride. We're live for this weekend celebrations, which are among the largest in the world. Former President Trump now facing anything from a fine to prison time. Mr. Trump speaking out today as all eyes look ahead to the impact on the November election. He's making history as the leader of the LAPD. We're going to go one on one with the chief Dominic Choi to close out Asian American, Native Hawaiian and Pacific Islander month. This is NBC4 News at 6. We begin at 6 o'clock in West Hollywood, where Pride Month celebrations are now in full swing. Good evening. I'm Kathy Barrett. And I'm Colleen Williams. Those celebrations are kicking off with night one of the Out Loud Music Festival. NBC4's Robert Kovacic joins us live from West Hollywood and walks us through what else is in store for the weekend. Robert. <laughs> Colleen and Kathy, literally as you start speaking, the music just started as well. Pride is underway. But listen, we have to keep in mind this is a very different year in the sense that there's a lot going on in our world, nationally and worldwide. People, Bill Mulder, the captain of West Hollywood Sheriff Station, we have been talking to him about people coming here. And it's one thing to come and enjoy Pride this weekend, but as we have seen in just about every event, popular man, they also have come to demonstrate. Are we prepared for demonstrators here and what type of preparations are we making? Yeah, absolutely. Certainly we're very aware of all the things that are going on in our nation around the world. So we're prepared for all those uh, different events that could that could possibly happen here. We're making sure that we have enough people out here from our department and different public safety assets to make sure everybody's safe and we'll have a wonderful time here at Pride this week. Well, let's take a little bit of a walk and you yeah. see security surrounding us. Do we have more security this year than we have in years past because of what we were just talking about and so many demonstrations going on? Uh, yes, indeed. Yeah, we don't get in exact numbers, but we definitely have more people here than in past years uh, to making sure everybody's safe and, like I said, can come down here and feel confident and enjoy themselves here at Pride in this great weekend. Okay, let's talk about Pride and how much fun it is. We've already got the streets closing down here. We have already got people coming down here. The advice from Captain Bill Mulder on staying safe and avoiding trouble. Yeah, it is, uh, come on down. You know, uh, in terms of, like, staying safe, if you see something, say something. Don't ever hesitate to call our station and report it. Otherwise, we have a lot of deputies out here seen and, and unseen. So we're making sure that this is a very safe experience throughout the entire weekend for everybody to come down into. And, and as JR shows you right down here now, so let's explain to you what's going on here and how this is working with Pride. This is the Out Loud Music Festival that begins tonight. The people you see standing in line, they are getting in free, ladies, because they RSVP'd. If you did not RSVP, you are not getting in free tonight to the Out Loud Music Festival. And unfortunately, you won't be able to see Kesha and you won't be able to see Adam Lambert. But you can get tickets Saturday, Sunday for the Out Loud Music Festival. Those are still available online. But remember, free event here. This is going to be free, the stage here. The parade is going to be free where NBC employees are going to be there. A bunch of our colleagues are going to be there. The streets will be shut down. Come down and enjoy yourself for what promises to be another great weekend. And before we let you go, just because it's Pride, we like to make some fun announcements here. First of all, for you, Kathy Vara, we're going to do our best to find Adam Lambert and have him say hi to you. Don't and tease. For those of you, <laughs> for those of you who really want to pursue a career in journalism, well, perhaps law enforcement may be for you because the man standing next to me, Colleen, you remember him, Bill Mulder is a former KNBC intern. Oh, so yeah. true. That's true. Many, many years ago, well before you were born, I was an uh, intern at, at KNBC. And just when uh, Colleen got there, she's fantastic. And your whole, the whole group there in that time was fantastic. So it was a great experience. Great experience. I, I just want you to repeat, you were there before I was born, right? Well that before you, you were born. Many, okay. many years Let's ago. Let's leave yes. it at that. Okay, we're going to yeah, see you back here tonight. Yeah, we've got to talk about the math on that, Robert. 
right? Got to talk about them now. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, oh, oh, we've got a bad connection. We'll see you oh, back I'm here sure at seven. Do. Sorry, <laughs> I don't know what happened. Bye. Yeah. Oh my goodness, going convenient, off the rails. wasn't it? Yeah. Convenient. Okay, thank you, Robert. Well, whether you're heading to West Hollywood this weekend or another event during the month of June, we have you covered. You can find a full list of Pride Month events at NBCLA.com and on the NBCLA app. Just search Pride. Developing now in Whittier, police say a woman was stabbed along the Greenway Trail. This happened around 12:30 this afternoon. The woman was able to give police a description of the man she said stabbed her before she was taken to the hospital. Police say they arrested a 35-year-old man in connection with a crime a little while later. We have new details tonight surrounding the death of General Hospital actor Johnny Wachter after he was shot and killed in downtown L.A. last weekend. Police say three people were trying to steal the catalytic converter from Wachter's car, and when he approached them, one of the thieves stood up and shot him in the chest. We spoke to Wachter's co-worker and friend, Anita Joy, who was there and heard his last words. I turned with him and I said to him, I was like, Johnny, honey, are you okay? And he just said, no shots. I still didn't really realize that he'd been shot. It wasn't until we fell to the ground that I pulled him up onto my legs and I felt I had blood on my hands. Um, and I opened up his shirt and he had a, a shot direct to the chest. Johnny Wachter was just 37 years old. Facing anything from a fine to prison time, former President Trump spoke out today following the guilty verdict yesterday. Yesterday, a jury convicted him of scheming to hide payments to a porn star to help in his 2016 election. NBC4's Conan Nolan live in the newsroom with how voters are reacting to all of this now. Conan. That's right, Colleen. On the day after, much of what we could have expected did take place. Donald Trump denounced the trial and the verdict, and President Joe Biden denounced his denouncements. On friendlier turf, no judge, no jury. But the complaint was familiar. It was a rigged trial. We wanted a venue change where we could have a fair trial. We didn't get it. We wanted a judge change. We wanted a judge that wasn't conflicted. The judge was a tyrant. The 45th president of the United States, now the first to hold that title and to be convicted of a felony, which Donald Trump says was politically motivated to keep him from winning a second term as president, saying he would have testified in his own defense, but deferred to his legal counsel. The theory is you never testify, because as soon as you testify, anybody, if it were George Washington, don't 